Hey everybody, it's Daddy1424 TMPG, and today we are taking a look at the Sony Tablet S, and more specifically, the ice cream sandwich update that has been promised to us. So it has finally come out in Canada. If you haven't picked it up, make sure you do so. It has already been available in the States since of April 30th. I know there was a little bit of an upgrade, uh, sorry, uproar about that. Uh, but anyways, this is the first for my channel doing the tablet review, uh, so make sure you like and subscribe and leave some comments below. This is very important and you guys make this possible for me. Uh, anyway, so we're taking a look at the ice cream sandwich for Android uh, tablet, Sony Tablet S or Android 4.0.3 more specifically. No, not the coveted Android 4.0.4. Um, so first thing we're going to talk about is more of some of the more notable changes that they've done from uh, gingerbread over to the ice cream sandwich and then we will do a little bit of an overview of the device itself because I do want to talk to you about this as well. Uh, so we will talk about the changes. The first and more, more most notable ones uh, come actually from the lock screen. Uh, you can now access your notification bar native uh, just simply touching it and if you get emails and whatnot you can obviously access that. The other one that they've actually adjusted is the ability to quick launch into your camera application uh, just simply like that. Um, now, I've obviously already done some photo editing and tweaked around with this a little bit, uh, and that is one of the other new features that they've added, is the ability to do some uh, photo editing right from your device. So I'll actually show you how to do that. You'd simply just highlight the or select a photo that you wanted to do it with, and then there are these little buttons here on the side. You'll click that, and uh, you'll hit the edit button, and uh, you can actually choose your application in which you want to do it in. In my case, I will do the native photo st uh, studio, and then you can tap these buttons here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. And you can do things like, you know, fix your lighting and, and all that good stuff. So for people who are into the photo editing, this is a great feature that Ice Cream Sandwich has implemented in. Um, now, some of the other things I want to talk about is uh, obviously with the Sony Tablet S, they added in their own customization and own tweaks. And this is one of the things that, in my opinion, made Sony really, really strong. Initially, from the beginning, when they had things like the ability to have the remote control, where you would have a universal remote uh, basically built into your tablet, you could use any TV. Uh, also, options like your DLNA throw, they haven't gotten rid of those. Those are still in there, so don't be worried. In fact, they did a little bit of an, uh, uh, you know, an advancement for it into it. What they added in was basically these uh, small applications is what they're calling them. And you can notice these buttons here at the bottom. Uh, one on the left will actually pull up the different options that you can quick launch into. And you can also basically assign a hotkey. In my case, has been the calculator. And you can just tap that and you'll see that it will open up there. Uh, just to show you a different one, um, you can obviously go into the remote control and uh, it should pop up. There you go. And I have to register obviously my TV to work with it. Um, I did have it initially registered, uh, but since doing the update, it seems like it's lost that registration. So keep that in mind when you're updating to the ice cream sandwich. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you about and one of the more, um, again, I guess uh, notable changes is the settings menu. You can simply just jump in here. Now, one of the things also before we get into the settings is you can notice just how they've done little things like fine-tune the colors, making it more light blue for the ice cream sandwich, as well as having more options um, and also changing the uh, time here. And when I say more options, I mean more specifically, like you can see how they have this little bubble here for the uh, different messages that come in, so you can tap that. Um, so we'll jump into the settings menu here and show you what that looks like now. So you can see there's quite a difference. Uh, you can do things like monitor your data usage. Again, in Canada, we only have the Wi-Fi only tablet, so I don't see that how that would be extremely benefit unless you want to monitor what your Wi-Fi is using on a consistent basis. Uh, your sound, your display, your storage. Uh, I just want to show and verify that this is running uh, 4.0.3, so we will show the Android version there. Model number uh, Sony Tablet S, so all that good stuff. So once we jump out of the settings, another ice cream sandwich feature is the ability to make folders. Now this can come in handy, uh, you know, essentially simply being for the fact that Sony has so many native applications built into it that it helps to be able to have that organization and make folders. So we'll actually just unpack this folder here, and uh, actually let's you know what, let's just make a new folder for demonstration purposes. So you can just basically grab one item and drag it into the next, and that will automatically name, make the folder for you. Once you've done that, you can still name the folder. Uh, so in this case, let's just name it um, TV. And you can see that app, that, that folder gets uh, created and named. Um, again, some of the other things they've done, uh, you know, in the past you were able to hold on your finger and that would quick launch your widgets if you wanted to access them. They've no longer done that. If you try and do that now, let's just see here. There we go. Now it launches to the gallery and the live wallpapers and the wallpapers. So a little bit of a change. If you want to get into your widgets now, uh, back up here where it used to be apps, where you'd open the app drawer, now you click that and it opens the apps and widgets. They've changed that app drawer itself. 
Uh, so you can see how it slides over now versus before it had somewhat of a customized look and you can also choose to edit it alphabetically and whatnot. Uh, you also have more widgets added in now, so widgets such as the Music Unlimited and the Media Remote. Uh, you also have your power control and your settings. So there's more app, uh, more widgets implemented now in this version. And the last thing uh, I want to talk about to you guys here, uh, one of the really cool things, and we talked about this obviously um, with the mini applications, is uh, we'll go into the browser, and you can actually you can see how you can actually move these small widgets around. So if you want them tucked over to the side, you can just simply grab them, and that provides for a more true one-to-one -one multitasking experience. But one of the things that they've done with the Internet Explorer now is when you jump into your Internet, you'll notice that the, the buttons here, uh, obviously they've changed a little bit. Uh, you can now choose to request the desktop site or open the browser in a small application. You still have your incognito tabs and all that great stuff. So all in all, these are some of the changes for the ice cream sandwich. Uh, it doesn't look like they've put the face unlock in here. Um, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. But you know, with all the other bonus added content, you get like the remote control. Uh, you really can't go wrong at the end of the day. So for those of you who are unaware, I did promise a quick overview of the Sony Tablet S. Uh, and we'll just talk about some of the things here quickly. You'll see that it's very folded like uh, magazine style. Um, and here it has the 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, followed by your SD card slot and your mini USB. Um, if you're interested in picking one up, Sony has recently dropped the prices uh, for 399 for a 16 gig or 499 for a 32 gig. So you have your power adapter here on the left hand side or right hand side. You have the power and the volume rocker up and down as well as the reset key. Um, it is overall a very good device, uh, very smooth, probably one of the best Android devices on the market today at this point. Uh, your camera, you have a 2 megapixel front facing camera or 1.3, I'm not exactly 100% sure at this point, and the rear facing is a 5 megapixel. So not phenomenal, but again, you're probably not going to be doing a lot of pictures in the first place with your tablet, so, you know, really and truly, I think those are very small in comparison to what this really offers in terms of value add. So if you don't have your tablet, make sure you pick it up, pick this up. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this ice cream sandwich update. Don't listen to this video anymore. Go do your update if you have the tablet. And if you don't, I highly recommend considering this. I hope you guys like this video. Two thumbs up and uh, leave some comments below. Thank you very much. I will see you all in the next video. Um, speaking of which, let's flip this around here for a minute. Uh, I won't have the next video until I believe about next Tuesday or Wednesday, which will be a Max Pain 3 video. So I hope you guys tune into that as well. All in all, Daddy1424 signing off like usual, guys. Peace. Love.